Hey, what's up you guys? It is me, Shane Greedy, and welcome back to my channel. Yes! I'm not gonna lie to you. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is my guilty pleasure. I, when I'm not in the mood to really watch anything with actual like substance, like a real show or movie, I always go to my Women of Beverly Hills. It's an addiction and I don't think it's gonna stop unless they keep bullying people off this damn show because I'm not here for it anymore. Like I'm getting fed up with this, like ganging up on one person for a whole season bullshit. I don't like it. I don't like it. Did you hear me say, I don't like it. Next. Anyways, we are about to check out the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion trailer. I'm beyond excited for this. All right, I'm talking too much, so let's get down to this video. All right. So my blood pressure is already rising and I'm getting angry. I want to know why the hell Dorit is screaming at Garcelle. I don't like that and I don't understand this whole Dorit versus Garcelle thing. Like they were like besties at the beginning of the season. Like this is just irritating. The storyline, drop it, stop it. And I do not like how Lisa Rinna is speaking to Garcelle. Like honey, I'm sorry, what plot line did you have this season besides just standing there and having pretend amnesia. Like, I was so drunk, I didn't see Erica screaming at something. When you're literally on camera reacting to everything, like, girl, bye. Uh, yeah, not, not feeling Reno. She's, she's gotta go. Let's get back to the trailer because I'm about to go off right now. Like, ho ho. And come to me and say, Reno, what are you doing? And guess what, there's gonna be some winners and there's gonna be some losers. Well, that's lies, baby. Where's huh. your anger towards him? Am I angry now enough for you? Oh, she snapped at Crystal. Well, that'll come up the reunion. Get ready. It's a four-part Real Housewives of Oh, this is about to be legendary. Do you stand by your assertion that the last one was favorite? I love Sutton. I swear to God, I am still not over that read. She read Crystal. Next season, Sutton deserves to be in the center. Sorry, Kyle, you had your time, move over. I, w I would love Sutton to be front and center because she completely brought it this season. I, the ugly leather pants, that is legendary. I need to get back to this <laughs> or else I'm gonna talk forever about Garcelle and Sutton, let's be real. <laughs> I am long-winded. I just want to say this, Andy, and this is really important. Am I boring you? <laughs> oh, he was totally holding back a yawn. <laughs> I have a few notes and oh, pieces I wanted to address. Kathy's so cute. Bring it, Kathy. Bring it, bitch. All these things I don't feel great about. I did them. It happened. Each and every one of them haunts me. Oh, haunts you. Haunts you. But as we can see from your behavior this season, in the beginning, there was a little bit of hope for you, Rena. But as you can see, if you watch the whole season, Rena, you're still the same. You haven't learned nothing. You, I mean, I'll give her props. She definitely was the only one who was like really genuinely loyal to Erica. So I will give her that, but Rena, we're not buying it. You really experienced threats and hate speech. It's Hundreds a day. <laughs> First, I say too much, and then I don't say enough. What you just threw down shows exactly who you are. You and your husband, and you and your husband were laughing at my f up life. I can't. Oh, she's calling them out. 
Oh, but we lived for that dinner though. I mean, PK and Mauricio. I mean, come on, that, that was TV gold, honey. That was hilarious, I'm sorry. That was too funny. Control comes out of there. And you know what, I can't control the time you already doing. The way that you spoke to me is not okay. You were being a bitchy How was Sutton being a are you kidding me right now? Like, really? For asking questions? What? <sighs> My blood pressure is rising. Girl, just apologize. You were, you threatened her. If it was Kyle, everyone would be like, oh my god, you threatened Kyle, and would be speaking up, but no one's backing up Sutton except literally Garcelle. Like, everyone else is kind of just like, Oh, like, that's your thing. Like, are you kidding me? Like, if somebody threatened me and I'm at a table with friends and nobody steps in, honey, uh, you guys better hide your freaking knives because I'm about to stab all them bitches. Like, are you kidding me? Slice, slice, tic-tac-toe, bitch. <laughs> We're going to put you on a skewer and I'm going to fire up the barbecue. Why didn't you leave Tom sooner? Where was I going? I know what you make on this show. Hold on. Did you? Oh, he did not just. Oh. Oh no, Erica. You got the boss coming for you now too. Oh, the Lord. Oh, poor Erica Jane. She's just. Oh, this is a whole mess. This is a pretty mess. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. I tried. Feel you were held captive. He's having multiple affairs, yet, as we know, he put $20 million yeah. and more into your account. <sighs> Who believes Erica did not know anything about what Tom was doing? Can someone please back me the f up on what I'm saying? Oh. Oh, this shit's about to get heated. I am losing my mind. Okay. Manipulating the narrative by saying that the cognitive decline started three years ago. That's not true. Again, here you are, and looking at me rolling your eyes. It lands differently when there are air crash just, victims. Just. You asked him if he did it? I asked him why am I, why? Oh! Oh, Erica, you did it. Oh, girl, you just admitted. You just admitted. That was a confession. Oh, God. God, I'm speechless right now. Oh, baby girl. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe she just walked into that. I will give Andy props. I definitely did not see him really going in on the questions. I felt like he was gonna, you know, tiptoe. Damn, he really just turned up the grill and was just like, <laughs> flip, flop, click, crack. Like, oh, this reunion is gonna be so good. Holy crap. I just can't believe she walked into that. Andy really just said, did you ask him if he did it? And she was literally like basically about to answer. And she's like, I said, uh, and then she realized she fucked up because she didn't know anything about this incident until after she divorced Tom. But she hasn't talked to Tom since she dropped him off at the firm that one day. And then she went home, grabbed all of her shit, moved out, filed for divorce the next day. So when would you have had the opportunity to ask him if he did it? Oh, girl, I, oh, that is not something I would want to have to deal with in court. Oh, God. I have a bad feeling that one is going to bite Erica in the ass. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. What's going to happen? Like, this is insane. Oh. Okay, you guys, so leave a comment down below what you think this four-part reunion is going to be like. Anything Real Housewives of Beverly Hills related, just go off in the comments. I really am a huge fan of the show, so 
we could talk about anything. I mean, we've got 11 seasons worth of material. So go off, sound off, do your thing down below. All right, everybody, I hope you have an amazing day and an even better tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scouts.